Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about well today I'm actually going to be telling you a story uh, about uh, a situation that happened to me now keep in mind my YouTube channel isn't about just fitness itself but it's also involved it, it's also about helping helping somebody out it's about uh, helping others it's about me helping others whether that's through inspiring them through uh, my workout videos or me just generally inspiring them through my life experiences themselves. So, okay, I'm going to jump right off into this store. I had left the gym on a particular day and got a phone call and this lady called me. She uh, she says, I got your number from such and such and I was wondering, could you talk to my, could you talk to my son? This, this young lady lived in Georgia and she says, I'm concerned about my son because my son is in, uh, I think he's getting getting ready to get involved in gang activity and he wants to join a gang. So I said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll be in my house in about 45 minutes and uh, I'll call you right back as soon as I as soon as I get to my house. So she said, okay. So I get to the house, pick up a phone and call her back and I says, uh, can I talk to your son? You know, he got on the phone. I said, hey man, what's going on? He says, nothing much. Um, I said, well, tell me what's going on with you. He says, well... I want to join a gang. All the I said, join a gang. I said, why do you want to join a gang? He said, well, first of all, all the cool kids are in the gang, and um, everybody respects the kids that's off into the gang. So I said, okay, let me tell you something, man. Um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I told him, but I'm gonna I'm, because that's gonna take you know a little bit longer than I want this video to actually be. But I told him about you know some things, some events that changed my life, and some things that happened, and, and things that happened to to kids that involve that things that happen to kids who involve themselves in gang activity. And I talked to him, you know, talked to him for about an hour and a half and uh, asked him what did he want to do with his life. And he said he wanted to play football for the University of Alabama. And I said, well, okay, first of all, how many gang members do you know that's on the football team at the University of Alabama? And he says, none. And I said, you never will see any. I says, uh, I said, as far as you're concerned about, you know, you fitting in, you being with the cool kids or not, you don't need to fit in with a group of individuals for somebody to respect and accept you for who you are. Uh, never be a, never be a follower, always be a leader. Somebody's gonna, a true friend is not gonna influence you in any type, shape, form, or fashion to get you to do something that you don't want to do or something that's illegal. Um, but me and this kid, we had a long conversation. I went to telling him about, you know, my experiences, me going to prison, me serving all this time in prison, uh, me being involved with gangs myself, gangs and drug activity, and it was just basically a dead, a dead end street, and nobody wins. Either you're either gonna go to jail or you're gonna, you're gonna get killed. There's, there's. Uh, there is no longevity or nothing prosperous from joining the gang, being in the gang. So, with that being said, you know, me and this kid, we talked for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops, and this was on a Friday, I'll never forget it. And I heard his mother in the background, I could hear his mother in the background crying and weeping, saying, I told you, I told you, evidently she must have had me on, he, she must have had me on speakerphone and she was listening to everything that I was saying, because she was basically in the background saying, thank God, amen, um, listen to him, listen to him, he's absolutely right. So, um, me and him got off of the phone Friday evening, I think it was Monday, Monday evening I received another phone call from him. And he says, uh, Mr. Anthony, I says, yes. He says, this is such and such. I said, hey, how are you doing? He said, I'm doing good. He said, I just wanted to thank you for talking to me, um, for talking to me Friday. He says, you know what, after, after I got off the phone with you, I thought about everything that you said. I sat in my room and I thought about it long and hard. And he said, my friend came over about 30 minutes later after me and you got off of the phone. And he says, Mr. Anthony, me and this guy, we go, we go everywhere together. We're like brothers. He says, when you see him, you see me and vice versa. And he says, he wanted to go every Friday night, we go to the skating ring. We go hang out, we go to the skating ring and, you know, we'll go play arcade games and stuff like that. And he came by and he says, hey, you want to go, you want to go hang out? You want to go to the skating ring with me? And he says, no, not the, and I told, and he said that he told his best friend, no, not tonight. I'm just going to hang around the house. Well, anyway, his friend went to the skating ring and got involved in gang activity and he got stabbed to death. And I heard the kid's mother in the background. She was just, she was freaking out. She was just crying. 
she was just crying and he was and he was just repeatedly telling me you know how thankful he was how thankful that he was for me you know talking to him well you know god gave me this body god gave me this knowledge god put me in a situation for me to help people i heard it so many people out there through through drugs and i'm not going to say violence but drug activity you know and he put me in prison for that and he put me he put me away for quite some time but what i'm getting at here is he gave me the tools to be able to help people he didn't put me in there just to be putting me in there. I didn't realize that at the time when I was when I was incarcerated, but I realized that now. I didn't realize that he gave me all these gifts and all these tools to help people with. So that is my mission. That's what I'm here for. And you know, I told him I was proud of him that he didn't that he that he didn't actually that he didn't go with his friends because it could have been two murders instead of one. And, I, and his mother was thanking me and thanking me. And I told his mom, his mom, you don't have to thank me. I mean, I'm here for a reason. I'm, this is what I'm here for. This, this, is, this, this is my purpose in life. Um, so maybe this story, maybe you could share this story with somebody you know that may be getting ready to join a gang or that's in a gang right now. Because take it from me, there's nothing, there's nothing positive that's going to come out of that gang. Um, so maybe this story will inspire you and you can share this story with somebody else. And I'll also be, I'll also be bringing other stories that I have. I have a whole vault full of stories that I have for you guys out there. So I'll be sharing them with you periodically. Once again, thank you guys for checking me out. Uh, subscribing to my page. Supporting me from day one. I'll see you guys soon. You guys enjoy the rest of your day out there. I'm gone. My 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 this is special what's hand to all my all my soldiers my over there in Iraq my Everybody my right here my What you need to do is be thankful for the life you got, you know what I'm saying? Stop looking at what you ain't got, start being thankful for what you do got Let's get to him, baby girl Hey, hey. Thank you. 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 Th